In this video, I want to discuss how you finish using the rock saw and clean up afterwards. This is really important because you want to make sure that the rock saw is in a good shape for the next person and also the next time you want to use it. So, of course, you want to make sure the rock saw is turned off before you leave, but that's usually easy to tell because it's very loud. You definitely want to make sure that the water is off and that everything has drained the way it's supposed to. This is very important because if you leave the water on, not only will you waste water, but you have a chance of producing a flood if it's just on for a very long period of time, and that can be a big problem in a laboratory. The last thing to make sure that you do is to clean up all of the bits and pieces that you produce from cutting your rock. So usually when you cut a rock, you get little chips of rock on the movable table and also some chips of rock and sediment in the container below the table. And you just want to make sure that that sediment isn't clogging anything. You don't have very large pieces sticking into the drain. And the other good practice here is to clean up all of your little pieces of rock off the table and use a towel to dry the surface of the table and the saw. This is because you want to prevent these metal items from rusting and to dry them off um, helps keep them in good shape rather than letting them sit and be wet for a long period of time after you cut. So those are some good tips for cleaning up which is very important and uh, please have a great time cutting your rocks.